Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a really simple flower brush. And what I've done here is I've photographed some flowers. These are black thorn flowers outside. And rather than have to pick them and bring them home and photograph them, I photographed them with some black card behind them. So I've just brought these into Photoshop. And what I'm doing here is I have desaturated the image and now I'm cropping in to the actual bit of the flowers that I want. So when you're going to make a brush from something, just keep in the back of your mind that it's going to be turning black and white. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into levels and I'm just going to play around with these sliders here, but I just really want to get the black to be black and the whites to be white, so there's good contrast there. And then what I'm going to do after I'm happy enough with that is I'm going to take a new blank layer and I'm going to take a soft brush, 100%, 100% black brush, and I'm going to make sure that there's no edges sometimes you can't see them but they're there and if you make a brush and you don't check that you've got straight edges removed you end up with horrible lines in your brush so if you ever end up with a brush that has a big square around it it's probably because it was sort of like the border of the frame so what i'm going in here is i'm going in with the brush and i'm just cleaning it all up with black then I just make sure I'm just looking at my blank layer just to, as I'm going around with the brush just to make sure that I have actually got all those edges and filled in any bits that may cause a problem with the brush when it's made. And when I'm happy with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a stamp visible layer on top of all my layers. Now once I've made that layer, I need to invert that. So I click Command I to invert. And that is essentially my brush right there. So I'm going to go into Edit define brush preset. I'm going to give it a name, JC. I have a lot of flower brushes, so I think I'll go back and I'll give this the name of Blackthorn Flowers just to distinguish the different flowers. These are lovely. They kind of look like cherry blossom as well. So that is essentially a very simple, quick way of making a brush. And we can test that out just on a new layer there. Fill that with white. I'm going to pick a nice pink colour. As I said, this is a, a good starter basic brush, which you can have a bit of fun with. And another thing you can do with these brushes is you can go to window. you can go to brush settings and you can make your brush do things to make it look a bit more natural like you can 
change the size, change the angle. There's all sorts of settings in here. I'm just doing the flow jitter there for the pen on my Wacom tablet. But really size jitter and angle jitter are the ones you can start with just to have a bit of fun with again and it'll get make a more natural looking brush because it'll change the size and the angle every time you either click with your mouse or you draw with your pen so you don't have to go around changing the size or changing the angle of the brush every single time so i hope you have fun with that i'm just going to save that there now i'll just call it dynamic because it's cool And we'll see you next time. Keep creating and keep safe.